In today's video, we are going to show you how to change the battery of the Panamax MB1500. As you can see, um, this unit has a battery shoes 0 minutes and it won't charge. So we're going to So what we need to do is to take the front panel off and then we can pull the battery out then switch it to uh, the new battery. To take the front panel off what we need to do is first we need to take out the take off the two year and then um, there are two uh, switches we just need to um, um, we just need to push this up, push it up, and then pour the whole thing off. So it's very easy. But first, let's just turn this off. And then unplug it from the wall outlet. Then uh, we can take off the front panel. The next step is to uh, just to pull out this uh, rubber, these covers. So here we have the two rubber covers take out, but just to uh, say they are similar, but they are not the same. One is complete flat here, and another one is look at that here. It has a uh, two opens here and it's actually uh, labeled as L and R which means left and left and right I don't know if you can see it here you have a uh, here it says L here it says L and uh, here it says it says R means right so the next step is to push this locker up and then pull the thing out. So this is a little bit, uh, I think, stuck. You see, it can be pushed up. So you push up and pull out on both sides. Pull up, pull out, it's the same thing here. You push up. And then pour it out. So this thing, the whole front cover goes out. Now what we can see is that uh, the battery is here. What we need to do is that uh, first we take take off this screw, then we unplug the connectors. Then we take off this screw, then here we can pour this out. This one screw, another screw, maybe another one. First, let's take off this screw. Yep. We can just pull out the battery. It's, uh, it's 32 pounds, so it's, it is heavy. There we go. The battery box includes actually one, two, three, four individual uh, rechargeable batteries inside. What we can do is that you can buy the whole set of battery with the model number BC-1500. Uh, which include four batteries. Or if you want, you can take this box open and just replace the ones that uh, uh, that, that, that guns bad. What I'm gonna do is uh, I will replace the one which is gun bad. So what I need to do is to lose two screw, two screws. One is right here. Another one 
is this. So I have, after I lose two screws, I think I can. Yep, I can just uh, lift this up for the four batteries. Right now, I'm just gonna replace the first one, this one, which measure only ten volts. All of the three measure like 12 volts, so I'm gonna replace this. See if this uh, this battery causes a problem, which gone bad. So uh, here is a new battery I bought. It's different brand. It's different brand, but uh, it's a same battery. So what do we have here? I'm gonna take out, take this out. And put this back. So now I have everything back. I'm gonna put this back in. See this if this solves the solves the problem or not. So now I put everything back. Let's plug in. See how this works. After I replaced the battery and also I left it uh, to plug in and recharge for overnight. 
everything back to normal say if we turn this on yep now we have battery charged 100 percent let me see we can go to it says that uh, the battery can still be uh, used for like 96 minutes and I did not plug in so it's uh, it said it says lost power in the meantime because we are operating with the battery the fine automatically turns on I can feel air pump out here which is good so thank you for watching this video this tells you how to uh, replace or change the battery of this UPS